Hey everybody, Ellen here at eTrailer.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the replacement hardware kit for Sears Box Cargo Box. Now this is a replacement hardware kit from Thule, and it's going to come with everything you see laid out on the table here. We'll get four of our larger plates, four of our smaller plates, four U-bolts with the threaded ends, and then eight wing nuts, and also a sheet of vinyl stickers. The vinyl stickers help to plug up any holes for unused mounting holes, so any kind of hole that you have in your cargo box that isn't being used, this can help to seal that up and prevent any leaks from happening. We'll get 15 of those little stickers. I'm gonna set these off to the side because my fan tends to blow them away, but they do come with your kit. The more important part though will be our brackets. So everybody wants to know how big these are, will they fit my cargo box, and like I said this does fit the Sears box cargo box, but it does work for a lot of different cargo boxes out there, especially if it's that style that has the U-bolts and clamps to get it attached. So this bigger plate here measures about five and a half inches long by about two and a half inches wide. The mounting holes, center to center, for the two furthest ones are about four inches apart. Again, that's center to center. And then the two, each one is separated by about two inches, center to center. It is about an eighth of an inch thick. Maybe even less than an eighth of an inch. So it's a pretty thin material, but it is pretty durable. So this might flex around your bar depending on how tight you get it. That can be a good thing because then it'll help to kind of grip around and prevent any sliding. But of course you don't want to over tighten and, and then end up crushing this or totally warping it. Our smaller bracket, let's look at that one. From end to end, it kind of has these rounded edges. It's about five inches long and about an inch wide. We'll have several mounting holes on this one. The two widest holes are four inches apart again, center to center. The two that are a little bit set in from that, center to center, those are three inches apart. And then from those narrowest holes to that center hole, it's about one and a half inches to our furthest out option, it's about two inches. So two inches in between these two holes, one and a half in between these two, and that'll be the same going in the other direction. Now those measurements are gonna be the same for all our brackets. Let's look at the U-bolt. So from outside edge to outside edge, that U-bolt is about four inches wide. The threads are a little bit thicker. They go just past four inches, but I think four inches is going to be, or excuse me, four and a quarter inches. So the center of the bolt to the center of the other one is a little bit wider than that at the ends. So they do kind of flare out, but at the top, it's about four inches. There is a slight curve to that, so it'll work well for aero bars, elliptical bars, round bars, pretty much most style roof racks. The tallest portion of that is just over two inches from the bottom of the threads to the very top of it. The inside area is about two inches. The threaded portion is a little over an inch, maybe an inch and an eighth long. So I hope that helps you in determining if this is going to fit for your box. Those handle nuts overall are about an inch and a half long. The widest point, that little wing por portion it's about an inch and three-eighths. The nut or the threaded portion inside does sit back a little bit. Let's say that starts about where that bump is. 
in the bolt and that's about three eighths of an inch deep. So you'll have a little bit of room and then it goes down about seven eighths of an inch. So I just wanted to kind of go over those measurements with you to help figure out if this is going to fit your particular cargo box. This is gonna be a very universal kit. A lot of boxes will have that four inch wide mounting holes. If yours doesn't, but you still need this kit, you still need that clamp style, you can't always drill out those holes. Just be careful whenever you do that. Uh, always measure twice, cut once, and plug up any holes that you might have created on accident. And that's gonna do it for our look at the replacement hardware kit for Sears Box Cargo Box.